hydroplaning. A combination of vehicle speed, tire pressure, and water buildup can lead to hydroplaning. Hydroplaning occurs when the tires begin to ride on a wedge of water that forms between the tires and the road surface. When this happens, you lose steering and braking control. Whether or not a car hydroplanes depends on a number of factors. Properly inflated tires with good tread depth do a better job of cutting through the film of water than those that are worn out or not inflated properly. Also, the more water buildup on the road, the greater the chances of hydroplaning. Hydroplaning is more likely to occur at high speeds. At speeds of less than 30 miles per hour, tires will usually cut through the water to stay on the road surface. Between 30 and 50 miles per hour, the tires may ride almost completely on the water rather than on the pavement. To improve traction on wet roads and prevent hydroplaning, slow down. Drive in the tracks of the vehicle ahead. Also, be sure that tires are properly inflated and have good tread. Still, hydroplaning may occur. If it does, do not use the brakes to slow down. Instead, slow down by releasing the accelerator. After the tires regain some contact with the road, brake gently to slow down even further. Check this out. The National Transportation Safety Board reports that about 13% of fatal accidents and 25% of all accidents occur on wet pavements. Hydroplaning occurs when water causes your tires to lose contact with the pavement surface. This can cause you to lose control of your vehicle. Driving in wet weather requires that you slow down, avoid ruts and other low areas that hold water, and regularly check your tires for good tread.